welcome to another video on Rain Balloon. You might be thinking, so, you posted a video on how to add charms and beads, and now you're posting a video on how to add beads. Isn't that silly? Because you already posted on how to do it. Well, we are going to be pushing this type of beads away today, and we're going to be showing you how to make something that looks like this, like a bracelet, not like a ring. Um, but start with rings. We didn't rings. have a lot of time to make a demonstration for this. Uh huh. So you can see the beads are all connected to a ring that can fit. Yeah, and it's like a it's a pretty it's a pretty simple um, way to do it. But yeah. like, if you're looking for some complicated stuff, like. Um, forget about our channel go find some others because uh this is just for like really really beginners who like who just want to make some pretty like rainbow moon stuff that like out of rubber bands and beads so here we have a jumbo bucket which will be featured in another video it got mixed up a little bit so, no. so look out for this jumbo bucket and other videos because we, um, because because we just need to make a conclusion for, um, a big haul of rainbow loom video, and uh -huh. then we're posting it on YouTube, which you'll probably see it like next week or maybe the week after that, or maybe even tomorrow. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? But we're going to be using some colors from this to make it, and the beads from I don't know if you can see over from here. over here. So like you can do like random colored beads or you can like make a pattern like the ring uh -huh. that my sister made. And um so yeah. We're going to be using these beads. Um I would think I haven't tried it yet, but I would think that these beads are harder, you know, these ones with the letters, because, because they, they have, have smaller holes. Like, and they're just square. look at those tiny holes. Like, us, uh, just imagine putting a rubber band through that tiny thing. Yeah. I haven't tried, but it, but I would assume it's hard. So we're going to start with the basic type. Like, um, this type. Yeah, which you might have seen in another video. If you haven't checked out our other videos on Rainbow Loom, go do that, like, right now. Because this is showing, like, the basicest way. Like, basic is basic -est way. Like, if that's a word. Um, to, to make a Rainbow Loom bracelet, like, using your fingers, just with some old rubber bands. Um... We have, so, like, don't use this with, like, your mom's fancy hair ties or whatnot, because, um, it, it will not work. Yeah, um, they have to be small enough. It has to be, like, small little rubber bands. That, like, so, we're going to go ahead and pick our colors. Yeah. Out of this bucket. So, which colors do you want? So, we do, um, like, blue and green. Yeah, let's do a classical blue and green. Okay. So we here got some blue and green. So Not this some. is just reviewing like how to make the basic rainbow loom. If you already know how to, you can skip this part and like go on. Um but um What beads should we use? Ooh, hmm. Like Maybe not use... blue and green because um yeah. like we have those colored rubber bands. Let's use purple and hmm. So for and us, there's... we're not going to do one bead per like every single rubber band like you saw on the ring. We're going to like skip a few like three rubber bands and then yeah. add a bead because um like we only have a limited amount of beads. If you can find like we are probably gonna get more and like once we do we'll update a you on that and like film a YouTube video. And um I don't know, sorry in there for not posting in two whole weeks. Although, I guess that sounds silly coming from the channel who took a break. 
from YouTube for like three or four months. <laughs> yeah, we just, we were just like really busy with school, so you know. So we're just collecting the colors. So we have some of each, and we're going to be using purple beads. Yeah, just only purple. Yep. Because we're going to be skipping a few rubber bands now and then. So I'm just collecting four for now. We can get some more later. So we're going to get started. So which color should we start with? Let's start with some green. Okay, so we're going to take the green rubber band and do the cross like you probably already know. Start like that. Then we're going to take blue. You can like use a Y loom or a happy loom, whatever looms you have at home. Or if you don't have any and you just have some rubber bands, use your fingers. It's, um, it's, do you want it's this rubber band to have simple. a bead? Uh, no. Let's start out like simple. Okay. Like, let's go on. Simple. So we're going to just start the simple way. Put these on and loop this one in the middle. Now, this. Yes. So here's a trick for making rainbow loom. Whenever you're making a bracelet, add a rubber band that matches the color like in the middle right there because that's the color that you just used it's it's an especially helpful trick bead or no bead um no bead um for making for making those three color ones which are kind of difficult to like follow the pattern if you're like um a big dinner yeah so so it's like easy to mess up the pattern and you just want to pull it down a little bit so you can see we've got the starting and um, then our next rubber band is going to have a bead. Here's the part that you've all been waiting for. So I know this video is already eight, seven and a half minutes in and like you're like scratching your head like I thought this was supposed to be on how to add beads. Yeah. So we are going to take the bead <laughs> right here. And take the rubber band right here and you're just going to kind of pinch close to the end like that but not quite at the end so that it can fit just through like that then you're going to put it on one finger if it snaps off that's okay like it just did you just put it back on yes and then you just keep looming normally which is like, you know, it's it's pretty easy. It's just like the charms. You just like simply just add it on and then keep going. Okay, there we go. We've got the beard rubber band on. We're just going to put this green one in. It might look weird when you start doing it, but um, so the result is going to look like um that ring that we showed you before. Here, it like is. this. If you put them close to together, if you don't, it'll still look somewhat like this because it has beads in it. Yes, and we also we just recently um, posted another video on slime. Mm -hmm. We actually posted it like 30 minutes ago, I guess. Like if you're watching yeah. this video because it's going to take a while to post this. Um, we might post this like tomorrow i don't know um anyway so we so if you could go check that out it was we made so much slime it's showing you all the types of slime that we made on saturday and it's um okay the next it's starring I this big have, guy of slime the next one should have a bead right um yeah so, every four rubber bands have a bead one two three this Third one has to be here. Starting one, second one. No, this is on the fourth rubber band. What? Three, four, um. five, six. So that's on six. So once it reaches eight, put. Once it reaches seven, the next rubber band will have a bead on it. 
And if you know the so four times table, two, which you probably should, four, five, then it would be easy. And so you're just going to keep looming like this until you have a full bracelet. And we'll be back to you when it's all done. Okay, hi, we're back. Um, we, act, we just finished the bracelet. And... And it turned out like this. Yeah. So if you want to make something like this, follow the steps that we showed you. It's quite simple. And you can make something like this. Or you can make something like this. So, um, but like depending on like how big or small your wrist is, it will depend on the amount of beads that you're going to use. If you're going to make something like the ring... Where there's, like, one bead on each rubber band, like, no breaks, and if you want something this size or bigger, you're going to need a lot of beads, especially if you want to do it all in one color like we did. Yep. Um, so, like, I have a tiny wrist. It's only this, it's this small. And this was made for her wrist. Yeah. So, let's put it on. And it fits perfectly. It's like, just like that. Mm-hmm. And it's actually my favorite colors, so that's nice, too. Um, but, yeah, if you want to make something like this, go follow the steps that we showed you. Don't forget to like and subscribe and also view our other videos that we posted there's only, there's only 12 others and bye bye subscribe bye like and subscribe to see more videos